Hi everyone, it's Jess. Welcome to my channel. I want to check in for quarter one of 2024 about my reading, how that's been going, a little bit of a reflection, because I, I just think it'd be nice to check in. So far, for January, February, March, um, I've read 13 books, and if I continue this pace, I will read 52 books by the end of the year. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's cool. I mean, it's lower than the years prior, but I'm like, uh, you know, doesn't matter to me as long as I enjoy reading. But I'm like, oh, you know, that's kind of cool. 52, like 52 weeks. That's like a, a book a week. So far, I've read 5,145 pages and projected toward the end of the year, that would be 20,580 pages. And now I think I've said in my stats video how many pages I read last year and I never look at how many pages I read in previous years. I'm gonna talk about my unofficial goals, little check-in, because <laughs> I, I guess I'm calling them unofficial because I'm not like so strict. Like, oh, these are my goals and I gotta meet them for this year or else I'll feel like a fail. No, no, no. I'm, I'm just choosing to do this. Okay. <laughs> my first one is to read a Stephen King every two months, so that's six books this year. Um, and so far that has been going well. I read The Long Walk for a uh, January-February pick, and uh, I'm currently I'm reading Fairy Tale for March-April, and I will for sure finish that in April. My other goal was to read Mistborn to continue that series and I broke it down for the rest of the year. Again, every two months I'm reading uh, one of the books in the Mistborn series. And so far, yes, I have, I'm keeping up the pace with that. I read The Well of Ascension and finished The Hero of Ages. Uh, so it's been going well. Okay, and then my TBR jar. I don't know, I've been doing the best I can with that. Out of the three months, I've only read one of the books, but loved it. The other book I'm saving until October. The third one, I'm still waiting for it at the library. I didn't realize how long that one would take. I'm just doing the best I can with that, okay? Okay. Okay, so now I want to talk about the books I want to read for next quarter. The possibilities, the, I guess the strong inclinations to read these books for uh, April, May, June. Obviously I'd like to get my hands on before the coffee gets cold. I think last time I checked I was number 60 for the library uh, queue or whatever. So hopefully that gets to me soon taking a lot longer than I thought it would. And then I drew the Traveling Cat Chronicles for April, and this one, good news, no one has this book checked out at the library. So I am going to check out it for sure in April, and I will read it. So I'm going to continue reading a Stephen King book. I have, I don't know, maybe five to ten of them on my shelf right now. Um, so I will probably just choose one of those. I'm gonna continue the, the Mistborn series, I guess, with Era 2 and try to read The Alloy of Law, see if I like that or not. You never know, maybe this could be the end of my love of this uh, author's work. You never know. And then uh, I guess I'd like to read The Night Tiger because I bought this one new and uh, I just feel obligated to read it sooner because I bought it new. <laughs> Make it worth your money or else you could have waited and bought it used or something, you know? Uh, and then there's just a lot of books on my shelf I'd like to read. You know, sometimes it's nice to veer off course and feel inspired by something I already own. And then I also subscribe to Book of the Month, so I try to read whatever I get for the month or else it's not worth it because why else am I subscribed then? <laughs> that's that's my mentality. I'm doing a little book battle in my book journal and I am going to cut to my page. <laughs> uh, it was inspired by Jeremy Fee. He has done book battles on his channel. They are always epic. This one, um, I mean not to say it's not epic, but I, I definitely don't have the production value. <laughs> 
<laughs> for shooting this um, book battle, but you know, I, I'm gonna do what I can to find the, the best book of 2024. Okay, so this is my book battle of 2024, and I have it divided by quarters one, two, three, and four. And for every month of the year, plus a little bonus slot. And now we are going to focus on uh, the first quarter. And I'm just going to reveal the best books. You know, these are five star books for all of them. In January, I really loved reading The Well of Ascension. It just got me hooked right back into the Mistborn series. I didn't think I could get back into it. I remember how involved and intense it was and I hadn't read it for like a half year before I started the series again but I got sucked back in again and then uh February I chose Dead of Winter by Darcy Coates it's a thriller horror with some unique uh murders happening in this like abandoned cabin uh, during a snowstorm. And I'm a sucker for that kind of story. And then in March, I chose again Brandon Sanderson, uh, The Hero of Ages, because the conclusion of the series, um, of, of, well, the first trilogy just really got me. And then for my bonus pick, the one with the star, I looked back through, uh, you know, what five star one I did not choose. And for this, I put The Fox Wife by Ying Shi Chu. I do like watching like K-dramas and C-dramas and just how they can, you know, there can be some historical fantasy drama and those are fun and you get very involved and it just reminded me of watching one of those shows. Okay, so that's my book battle. We'll see how that goes. Let me know if you've read any of these books or how your year has been going. Have you kept up with your goals so far? Now is a great time to check in with yourself. See if you can, you know, it's not too late to, you know, set yourself on the path if you veered off from, you know, the new year. I will see you later because I can see you. Bye.